We love you, Denver. We love you. A co-production happens when there are two entities, in this case two theater companies, who are have a shared investment uh, both artistically and financially in a production. We're at the opening of The Great Leap by Lauren Yee um, at Seattle Rep. It's a really profound and funny and moving play with great kind of complicated characters who constantly surprise us. It's a really exciting thing of um, sharing the work with the Denver audiences as well as the Seattle audiences. I mean, I think this is, this is a play that I never would have written in quite the way I did without Denver. It was a commission. I think wherever it goes, there is something embedded in its DNA, like what Denver uh, is all about. This was a play that was developed by commission through the Denver Center and then also continued in its development process in the Colorado New Play Summit. The criteria for the co-production was to look for a theater that was really interested in helping the writer continue to evolve. We get to do in two different uh, regions, two different cities, which is great because the audiences are totally different. There was a friendship and a camaraderie that we found um, with the stage crew and our dressers, wardrobe and wigs and people that are making the show happen from a backstage perspective. Uh -huh. That was so much about friendship and trust and without that, I don't think we would go into this next leg of our journey with this much confidence. It's what a gift to have two preeminent theater companies working together um, to, to make this play happen. <laughs> Tonight is opening night, our second opening night, part two of American Mariachi. Que no corren, que no corren, que no corren. Todos queremos correr en este momento. Todos. I feel like, you know, the time that we spent in Denver, with the work that was done there, with the crew and everyone in Denver, um, like you guys just prepped us really nicely to really come into this town and at the Old Globe. Uh, it was like 99% there already. This show is magical, it's empowering to women, it tells the story of this beautiful culture of Mexico, mariachis, and it's so special and so timely and it needs to be told right now. Well, tonight's really special because having the opportunity to have a play done in two places is a, a tremendous gift to a playwright. To be able to premiere it in Denver, work out all the, the things that need to happen in terms of storytelling, in terms of casting, in terms of design. We leave it there with Denver feeling very, very satisfied and yet we're learning and watching our audiences take in the play and then we're thinking about what can we improve? How can we improve it? I feel like we've really taken on that atmosphere that we found in Denver which was just so full of love and teamwork yep. and compassion and I feel like we've been able to bring some of that here to the Globe, to San Diego. This play can definitely be performed all around the country. I mean, I think of big cities like Los Angeles, Chicago, Washington, D.C. Just speaking to somebody, uh, a young um, Latino friend of mine who was here tonight, who came up and said the moment the lights came up and the music started and he saw Mexican people on stage, he started crying because he had never seen it. Mm. Um, I think that's, that, that's the biggest takeaway. It continues to advance the idea that the Denver Center is at the forefront of new play development.